uh, take two on this. Just like Godot, there's always something, always something a pain in the ass. Anyways, this is to make a scrollable container. Um, again, I could not figure out how to do this. And I finally figured out how to do it. I had the video on it, and then there you see an issue. I think this does it. Yeah, everything works the way it should, but then, boom, you accidentally click here, you've got the entire list box. The issue is you have to have the mouse ignore that this even exists. And... There you go. And you click up here, nothing happens. You can still scroll. This is exactly what I wanted. Total pain in the butt to get in here. Uh, internet was useless. Godot was useless. Docs was okay. Um, essentially, what I have is I have the scroll container here. I have a list box as a child of the scroll container. If you don't have that, you're going to get the I want a child, the control child. And on the scroll container or the list box, uh, auto, height, auto height is on. Um, I only have one column. Uh, ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum. I don't allow any, any selection because on this particular one I don't want. The bad thing about lists is um, like we add an element in text. You can't use slash new for a new line. Um, uh, one, and you can't use enter for a new line, so it gets a little convoluted. I have three lines of text that's going to be possible, but I don't know how that's going to work out. Anyways, the whole point was I was trying to get this to work. So to get it to work, you have to use this code. So in item list, so extends item list, function add item, and this uses self, so the item list itself to add an item to its list and it add item takes three items um the string um this would be an image and whether it's selectable or not so false i wonder what happens if i put true here Oh yeah, I have the mouse ignoring it, so it, won't, it doesn't matter. Um, so, yeah. There's a key to this to make it actually work. And this is where the docs actually helped. So, in scroll container, you have a method description called ensure control visible. Because, by default, this scroll container... Uh, puts all of the new entries below. So you only have new entries up here. And I wanted new entries to be the thing shown, not the original old entries. Because then you'd have to scroll down to the... Uh, so it would be basically be like this. And then every entry would be added underneath, and you would have to scroll down. And I wanted the opposite. I basically wanted the box to work backwards. And that's what this does. But this is the important thing. Uh, ensure control visible. So the thing about this is, note, this will not work on a node that was just added during the same frame, which is what I'm doing. If you want to scroll to newly added child, you must wait, you must wait until the next frame using scene tree process frame. And I was like, no freaking clue. And then they... A little bit of code here. Add child, child node. Okay, I've done that. Await tree dot get process frame. There's no signal, but that's a signal. There's no signal in here for about that. Ensure control visible child node. Okay, so that text is right here. So I have ver scroll c equals get parent. That's grabbing the scroll container. The self, add item, text, null, false. Await, and this is where the code goes in. Await tree, process frame. And then, descript box, write scroll container, which is that. 
Oh, I didn't use scroll C here. I don't know. Basically, I'm telling the scroll container to ensure the control is visible of myself, the item that I just added. And that's how this works. It's incredibly, probably looks very confusing. Um, just the main thing to happen is, is if this is the kind of thing you want and you want to get your, um, like if this exactly is what you want, where you have history, um, you have to make absolutely sure that the mouse cannot select. You got to just turn the mouse to ignore. The mouse doesn't even know, doesn't even know this line exists. I don't know if this will help anyone or, anyone or not, but yeah, Godot is getting me very exhausted.